All right, guys, welcome to this overview of Amazon SageMaker, uh, a powerful and versatile platform for machine learning. Yeah. In the next few minutes, we'll explore how SageMaker can help you streamline entire machine learning process from initial concept to deployment. So what is exactly SageMaker? Simply put, it's a fully managed service that enables developers and data scientists to build, train, and deploy machine learning models quickly and efficiently. If you haven't already, I would recommend that you go and go log into your console and start playing around with SageMaker. Okay. So basically, right, it, it, SageMaker removes much of the heavy lifting from each step of the process. So it allows you to focus on creating high quality models and not have to worry about the, you know, the, the infrastructure. So let's look at the a typical machine learning flow, right? It generally involves three key steps. First, you will define your business problems and formulate it as a machine learning task, okay? This could help, uh, this could be anything from, you know, detecting defects in product images or predicting customer churn or forecasting sales, right? Next, you need to collect and explore your data. This is steps involves gathering relevant data and, just, and understanding its patterns and features, right? And after exploration comes data preparation. This includes cleaning, formatting, and transforming the data to get it ready for trading. So this is also where we do feature engineering, okay? So then you'll select and train a model. Uh, you, you, need, you need to choose an appropriate ML algorithm for your task, right? And train it using your prepared data. Then you'll tune hyperparameters to remove, to optimize the model's performance. And, and don't worry, we will be, we'll be looking at each one of these later on, right? And next, after that, you'll evaluate the model for accuracy and generalization. And, and finally, when you're done, if you're satisfied that you deploy the, the model for generating predictions, and, and SageMaker helps you, helps you with all these steps, right? So now let's do a, a look into specifics of how SageMaker achieves this, 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 this task, right? For example, no, let's look at notebook instances, for example. There are cloud-based environments that use data exploration, analysis, and visualization. They allow you to use tools like Jupyter Notebook to examine your data, create visualization, and understand the features of your data, okay? And then you have training instances. You know, once your data is prepared, you'll use these to launch your training job. SageMaker offers various instances types optimized for different machine learning tasks, including options you know, with GPUs for, for deep learning. The training instances pull your data from S3 so train your model and train your models and then output the model back to S3, okay? So your input comes from S3 storage as well as output goes back in there. So SageMaker comes with a wide variety of pre-built algorithms for common machine learning tasks. These cover areas such as unsupervised learning, supervised learning, uh, NLP, natural language processing, and image and video analysis. For example, for clustering your you might use k-means or LDI. Don't worry yet. If, if you already know it, that's great, but not. We'll talk about it. For text pro processing, you might use blazing text. For time series, you might use deep AR. And all of these names must be added to you right now, but after, unless you've already worked with these. The framework, right? SageMaker integrates with popular machine learning framework like TensorFlow or PyTorch and MXNet, which allows you to, to use your algorithm and scripts, right? And then, of course, you can go to the Amazon Marketplace. You can access a curated catalog of machine learning models and algorithms from third-party vendors through AWS Marketplace, right? Your deployment uh, with SageMaker provides flexible options for deploying your models, such as model hosting services, HTTPS and endpoints, and batch transform. And, and you can use auto scaling to handle inference demands as well. And also, you know, SageMaker supports uh, common formats like, like CSV or Record IO or Protobuf, right? The labels are on are always on the left of the CSV data 
when performing classification. So that's one thing that you may want to remember now. And when, when time comes, I'll explain that to you too. So the first row in your Excel data, imagine that to be the label, okay? Then hypertuning, we'll be talking about it, but SageMaker helps you optimize model performance with automated hyperparameter tuning, right? By running multiple jobs in parallel to find the best configuration. So you basically have, you know, a proving ground where you can go and start playing around with these things. And in terms of, you know, you can create, you can use elastic inference to use speed up processing of large vectors. You can choose between batch or real-time inference, as well as build inference pipelines yourself, right? Ground truth, remember that, ground truth. This, this is a service that accelerates data labeling by combining human input and machine learning, okay? So let's consider some of the key benefits of using SageMaker. Number one is flexibility. SageMaker's generic interface allows you to use algorithm by packaging it as a Docker image, okay? A scalability, I mean, it's able to manage the auto scaling of your deployment infrastructure, which makes it suitable for applications with thousands or even millions of users, okay? And then cost efficiency, right? You can use spot instances with AWS Batch to train models in cost-effective manner. You, you only consume compute during the batch transformation process and terminate and terminate the instance after the transformation is complete. And, and, and SageMaker, I wouldn't use the word seamlessly, although that's kind of a marketing word, but yeah, you know, SageMaker seamlessly integrates with other US AWS services, which it does, such as S3 for data storage. It's not that hard, you could figure it out. Uh, CloudWatch for monitoring and IAM for security. You definitely need to spend some time in IAM because that's a very important part of the, the entire architecture, if you will. And then, look, SageMaker streamlines the entire machine learning workflow from data exploration to deployment, which allows you to focus on model development, right? Things that you want to do for your business. So when working with SageMaker, it's crucial also to consider some security best practices, okay? Number one, utilize IAM, identity and AWS identity and access management to control access to your resources. Implement Rob, robust S3 pipe, bucket policies to protect your data stored in S3. Uh, you should use security groups and VPC to isolate your SageMaker resources and always in, uh, employ encryption for data at rest and in transit, right? And use, uh, use anonymization techniques to protect your sensitive information. And to enable SageMaker without direct internet access, create SageMaker VPC interface endpoints right within your corporate VPC, so that you have a then you have a secure a direct connect with your, you know, uh, you have a secure a secure VPC where you have access to. You can also prevent data egress by using VPC endpoints, right? Yeah, so uh, network isolation, restriction, restricting notebook pre-signed URLs, right? So in summary, Amazon SageMaker is a comprehensive and versatile platform. It significantly simplifies the machine learning process. And you know whether you are a seasoned data scientist or a developer just starting out, SageMaker offers the tools and services you need to build, train, and deploy high quality machine learning models. From its flexible infrastructure to its wide range of built-in algorithm, and it's, again, seamless integration with other AWS services, a SageMaker it will empower you to harness the potential of machine learning without having to spend years and years, you know, learning the machine learning, right? Doing everything on your own. So you basically have, you know, uh, where, you, where you can have your training wheels on and learn everything. And then it is an enterprise platform. I mean, think about it. AWS has about 40% of the market share in the cloud platform, right? Amazon SageMaker is, is their flagship product, so they, they promote it quite a bit. They work on it quite a bit. There's a lot of R&D money that goes in. So thank you for joining this overview of Amazon SageMaker. I'll see you in the next section.